Hi everyone, it's Jane Orvian and it's another x-ray video, you can probably tell. Um, slightly odd here, I'm going to have to move the camera a little bit because we have got um, our trough because we're going to do VV hips. So I would recommend having your trough set up like this, so you have your trough and your cassette right beside one another. I wouldn't recommend putting the cassette on the trough because it does raise the patient away from the cassette and it is very easy for you then to collimate over the edge of the cassette and then you would fail so you obviously you're always remembering to go inside. So I'm going to place my patient. Lovely. Dorsal recumbency. Making sure his ears are comfy. Now if you are working with a Swedish patient remember that um, he has got quite a sort of pronounced neck so he will look quite bouncy in this and that's quite normal so for the video reasons i'm going to do front end first and then we'll move to back end in terms of equipment remember that we are centering on pubic symphysis which obviously we can't see but we know it is um where our hips are we are then at the top we are always going from wing of ilium and then we are going to the mid shaft of the femur so I always use a mnemonic for this one, WFS, work finds success. So wing of ilium, mid shaft femur, skin surfaces. But at the top with our little mate here, we are going to use some ties. You can use sandbags. The reason I don't use sandbags is because you will end up with the sandbags pretty much over his face, which you don't really want. It looks like you're trying to suffocate your patient and it will knock him out. Remember the sandbags are much, much heavier than our patient in the exam. So let me pop the light on again. And so you've got ties here, ties here, and you would put those to the edge of the table. And in this, for speed to show the video, I'm just going to pull them tight. And I always want to be looking from his nose down to see how we're getting on with our rotation. So if I can move the camera just a little bit, you would see actually his rotation is not too bad at the moment. It's the camera angle that's slightly off. So I've got him roughly in position. Remember with your ties, don't go mad and actually wind them several times around the, the cleat on the table because then if you want to change, or it's going to take you a while longer to so do it gently at first because you might need to move your patient around. Now I'm going to move our camera to the other side and so we can actually have a little look at his hips because this is the one that we all get worried about because we have to put the patient's legs together. We need our stifle straight. You can ask the examiner to help you with this, that's perfectly acceptable. Sorry, I just put on some bubble wrap. So, you would ask the examiner, or you can do it yourself. You want your stifles rotated to the ceiling. I'm using tape, you can use bandage or tape. I'm using tape, that's because we've got what we've got available. There's no need to put anything between his stifles. I know you may well do in practice when you consider it like a big snappy leg or a little chihuahua where they've got huge big muscles and then not much here. I want to make, make sure that my tail is straight because if the tail's kinked under the patient it's going to alter their rotation. And then I want to have, oh sorry, sandbag again. I want to have a single nice tie so that I can pull his legs cordially. The reason that we want to pull legs cordially, and you can use two ties or you can use one because you should get the same result. Use two if you've got time, use one, tying it around both legs, and pulling it up and then again and straightening this. So there's nothing that's required in terms of with hips, there's nothing that's actually required. We are four ties on each four leg, we are a trough and we're a sandbag or we're table plates for rotating that. And then we collimate in and always lean over fully to see because we know that not every machine is perfect. 
and then I have lots of lovely space where his little paws are so that I can go in for labelling and this is the left so I've done the left now I'm going to turn the light on and I'm going to move the camera so that you can actually see the patient as a whole so we've got nose to tail pause up to patient and then here 